If you model an era before air conditioning was common, or any season besides winter, open windows are a must. Coming up, we'll show you how easy they are to build in all Walther's Boomtown USA structures. Finishing them in a contrasting trim color, as shown in our first video, is easy too. For this step, you'll need a hobby knife with a fresh, sharp blade, white glue, and an applicator or small brush. To keep track of the parts, build just one window or door at a time, and finish each wall before starting the next. Finished windows and doors are quite sturdy, but handle the wall assemblies carefully during construction from here on. Each window consists of a laser cut paper ledge, outer frame, upper and lower sashes, and two pieces of clear acrylic glazing. The clear glazing is laser etched on one side, creating a small groove. Use this and a small straight edge to guide your knife as you cut out the clear parts. Doors may have up to four parts, including the outer panel, inner trim panel, glazing, and a plastic doorknob. Remember, these are cardstock parts, so the glue will dry faster than you might expect. Align parts carefully and make adjustments right away. We found it easier to align and assemble windows by building them right in the laser cut openings in each wall. Start by gluing the ledge in place at the bottom of a window opening. Add the frame next, being careful to center it on the opening as shown in this inside view. Make any adjustments before the glue dries. With the frame in place, glue the glazing to the upper sash and attach this to the top of the frame from the inside. Next, assemble the lower sash and glazing in the same way, then install the lower sash in any position. Doors assemble in basically the same sequence, but again these include a plastic doorknob. In part 3, we'll cover basic assembly tips and techniques to finish your model. Thanks for watching, and remember, you can get more information on the entire Boomtown USA series at participating hobby shops or online at walthers.com.